Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the Golden Family, turn the notifications on while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So, my little sister, my very little sister, she's 12 and she suffers from anxiety. Really severe anxiety. It leaves her wrenching, but she's gonna throw up. Honestly, I hate thinking that she's going through what I go through because I know how crippling anxiety really is. And for her to struggle with it at such a young age, it really hits hard. Because I don't want her to suffer from anxiety. I want her to be happy and cheery and bubbly like she always was when she was growing up. So my little sister has anxiety. And here's what I have to say. She very recently has gone through a big change in her home life. By that I mean her, her dad moving out. Her mom and her partner are separated. Doesn't impact me in the slightest because I didn't like him anyway. But for her it's her dad and it's caused her a lot of anxiety. Yeah, when she first started secondary school she was so anxious about it that she started taking medication for her anxiety. At, she was 11. 11. Now I'm 26 and I still struggle with anxiety, I have done my entire life. Anxiety was the first thing I got diagnosed with. And people growing up said, oh you're just shy, you're just shy, you're just shy. Anxiety is so much more than shyness. And I wish I could tell my sister this. The best thing you can do is expose yourself to things. Now, I'm going to see my family Friday, so tomorrow for you guys, um, and I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit anxious about it, because this will be the first time I've been around my family without my stepdad being there. Which, yes, it makes me feel more comfortable being there, because we didn't get on at all, but I'm anxious because I don't know what to expect from my sister. I don't know how she's going to be. I phoned her the other day and she said she was okay, but it's so easy to say, yeah, I'm fine. As someone who's done that a lot herself, I know how easy it is to just say, oh yeah, everything's fine. Or there's nothing to worry about, I'm okay. Now, my little sister hasn't even told me that Mike, my stepdad, has moved out and I was kind of expecting her to bring it up on the phone call, but she didn't. All I wanted her to know is that I'm there for her. Like next next week when I'm at my mom's, she's got school. So I'll be there when she finishes school. She won't be on her own. When someone when you when you see yourself in someone, it's scary. Now she's acting exactly the way I did at her age. With social isolation, anxiety. And I just don't want her to fall down the slippery slope that I fell down with mental health because it is life changing and well I just, I just don't want to see her go through what I've been through. But anyway I wanted to make this video about coping skills. Sorry about my ramble, I just needed to talk. This is the first thing I'm going to go to for coping skills, grounding cards. Now, these are grounding skills that you can use to ground yourself when you're having a panic attack, flashback if you have PTSD, or feeling really anxious or spaced out or dissociated. I will leave a link to the store that I bought these off in the description down below. They're on Etsy. I think they're amazing at what they do. And it was actually Alana who inspired me to get these in her distraction box video. I'll link that on the iCard up there and in the description down below. It's a great video, you should check it out because it's got some great resources in. I do also have a distraction box which I'm going to do a whole video going through that box and showing you what I have, what's inside, what you can expect, what you should put in one, if you have any tips for me of what I could put in mine. It's just something that matters. Another coping skill would be folding some clothes. Now I learned this this weekend. I folded all my clothes because there was two massive piles and now it looks like a pile but they're folded yeah I folded my clothes distraction is key when it comes to 
calming down from anxiety. Distraction, 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 distraction. Now one of my biggest distraction techniques is to play a game on my Switch. Recently I've been getting into Zumba. Zumba. And honestly, it's pretty good. Definitely relieves stress and anxiety. I would recommend. This has just been a little talk on anxiety, I'm gonna call that. A little anxiety talk. It's a good title, I think. But yeah, to my little sister, I'm here for you. I care so much about my two sisters. It honestly has sucked the last 14 years not being close to them. My sisters mean the world to me and if anyone hurt them I would chase that person with a very pointy stick. And my message to you guys, when the road bike finishes, my message to you guys is never stop believing in yourself. But you can do this and things will pass. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.